My daughter's getting married to an art case, Blake. I have enough problems. How are things back home? Tell me it's pouring down, the tubes are packed, everyone's on strike. And now he's answering her. Yeah, we can't read that. We still can't see his lips clearly enough. Now she's speaking again. Do we know what the cue is? He's talking. She's talking. Happy birthday to you. Then we let him have it. Let him have it? Are you sure about that? Happy birthday to you. Then we let him have it. A ver, a ver, ¿dónde están las niñas de honor? María y Luisa, ahí, deja ya hablar a la gente. Que yo no ladro a la gente. ¿Y el organista? ¿Dónde está el organista? Papá, ¿te encuentras bien? ¿Papá? 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 Food poisoning? Sí. So you're going to have to postpone it then? I can't. Pablo flies to Argentina next week. A six-month tour. So, who's going to give you away? Who's going to walk you down the aisle? You? I, I, I couldn't. There is no one else. He stole the whole family. The wedding must be postponed. I, 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 I couldn't. You don't want to? Well, I want to. I, I just can't, I'm sorry. Blake. Blake would do it. He'd think it an honor. Any man would think it an honor. Thank you. Shows Frank's and Dick May. Where'd you get your cakes from, Frank? Well, all different places. Senor Sanchez? Yeah, sometimes. We trace the source of your food poisoning. Frank? 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 I didn't know you cared that much about her. I love her, Blake. Have you spoken to her? I told you, it's none of your business. Why haven't you? Look, who do you think you are? Marjorie Proops or something? Take a powder, Blake. Go fit somebody up or something. It's your birthday tomorrow. You've still got time to find me a card. She's taking you out for a meal. Oh, very good, Blake. That's your starter for ten. Now, tell me, what will I be eating? Not a lot. Something nasty is going to happen. Such as? I'm not sure. Am I going to get a kicking? Possibly. Killed? Possibly. It's getting boring anyway. Life. Don't you think you should do something about it? I'll finish that book off I started last night. You don't believe me? No. Charlie, you didn't believe me when I told you your wife was messing about. Now, is there anyone in England who might bear a grudge? One or two. Chewy Edgerton. I've had to smack his legs a couple of times, yeah. Drink. Yeah. Thanks. It's all right. I don't have to make it last anymore, do I? You could go to the police. Where are you going for your meal? I've told you, Blake. Keep out of it. I will. Just tell me where you'll be. Do you remember what you said to me? All those years ago. No. Seven years, you said. Seven years. 2,555 nights. 
nights wondering... wondering who might be screwing your missus. Oh, come off it, Charlie. I said that to all the villains. It was a trick of the trade. I never forgot it, though. I thought you knew something, you see. When I came out the old nick, I was two stone lighter. There was nothing left inside. I'd eaten it all up. But in seven years, Blake, no one, no one laid a finger on her. No one, that is, except a guy called Johnny Walker. A bottle of night. And now, I've got all this. You're counting your coppers, Blake. And I've got all this. And I've earned it. Seven years. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for seven years. <laughs> I mean, that's graft, Blake. <laughs> I mean, that's your Queen's Award for industry, right? But we've earned it. Me, Laura, and our villa in Spain. So you see, Blake, if she wants me dead, if Laura hates me that much, I don't want to go on living. So just keep out of it. OK? I'm going with you. Haven't I got enough to worry about? Anyway, you're taking Mercedes down the aisle. No, I'm not. Look, Douglas, I'm only doing this because I owe Charlie one. And you don't. So stay away, all right? Just cry. What? I'll cry. I'll be all right. Not over you. I'll cry because it's a wedding. The last time I walked down the aisle I was to marry Jean. Every wedding I've been to since she died, I've, I've cried. I mean, it's OK when you're one of the crowd, everybody's doing it, but I am not walking down that middle aisle with Mercedes on my arm, blubbering like an idiot. I'm just not going to do it. Oh, and I thought it's good you worried about oh, me. Stop it. Listen, I'll go to Charlie's, I'll do the business, and I'll meet you coming into church. What if you get killed? Well, tell Mercedes to save the flowers. Ha, ha, ha. Come in. There you go. Thank you very much. Douglas, do you, uh, do you cry at funerals as well? At yours, Blake, we should be laughing like a drain. I'll be turning cartwheels. I'm touched. I open it if I don't make it, all right? Only if I don't make it. Funny, Blake. <laughs> Look, you'll bleed. I'm warning you.
Have you heard anything of Chewy Edgerton? No, I... I heard he was in Spain. <laughs> no, he's not. How do you know? If you haven't heard anything. I'd have heard. If he was in Spain, I'd have heard. We've decided to share the honour. I'm going to take you to the church. Blake's going to walk you down the aisle. Thank you. You look absolutely wonderful. Thank you. Fantastic. Just, just breathtaking. Adios. Adios. He tried to buy Pablo off. He couldn't do that, so he turned the whole family against us. Oh, please. Our meal. so strange. What? I said, I know why you've been acting so strange. Yeah? Yeah. It's your birthday. Your 50th birthday. You think you're getting old? I am getting old. You're gonna live forever. Set. Let's just sit here for a bit. We're late. What's wrong, Charlie? Do you remember that copper I told you about? Blake. The one that put me away. Yeah. Well, he's over here. Bumped into him a couple of times. <laughs> Even got to like him a bit. Isn't that funny how wrong you can be about people? Someone. Hasn't it? Right. Let's do it. Right, everybody. He's, He's here. here! Happy birthday, babe. <laughs> It's an exclusive party, mate. Seems I want Riff Raff in there. <laughs> yeah? Is that why you two are standing out here? Blake, 
Yeah, that's right, Fisher. You're definitely not down here, my son. Pig. Behind the livestock, wouldn't it? <laughs> Thing is, Blake, they're eating pork. I mean, for you, that's cannibalism, isn't it? <laughs> 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 nah. Show us your invite. Yeah, certainly. Move. She'd been organising a surprise birthday party. That's how come she'd been acting so strange. Because <laughs> no, it'd be OK. <laughs> Let me out. Oh, we're going to miss it. Oh, thank you. Oh, She baked the cake. You lose faith, you have enough. A psychic seeks Magnum's protection when she sees her own murder. That's tomorrow at 10 p.m. here on Men and Motors. Next tonight, though, behind-the-scenes footage and interviews with the stars in UK Born Exposed. You are far too sweet, I get hit with the same old stuff. Can't fly, peace of mind, when your best just ain't good enough. You've got to go for it, go for it. You've got to go with the time. You've got to go for it.
Oh. Good shot. Yeah. He'll touch us till there. I've never thought of you as the sporting type. Well, I used to play a lot. But I found I was spending too much time on the 19th hole. <laughs> we all do that. Yeah. I was skipping the first 18. <laughs> oh, ah! ah! I'm trying to! Ah! I'm trying to! No! I've got to! Why? <laughs> because, because! Ah! We are heading for the... Ah! Hey! <laughs> Trees. Well, when I came to Spain, this isn't exactly what I had in mind. Don't worry. As soon as we get the engine service on the boat, things will be better. Yeah, I doubt that. Douglas, you're supposed to scrape the leftovers off first. You're spoiling my system. That's a system? You're not moaning again, are you, Blake? You're messing up all my water. No, I'm not. Blake's home. Oh, you get it, Douglas. Oh, all right. You do that. Hey, where'd you get them gloves? They're mine. Things are tough on the coast, you know, Blake. Everybody's feeling the pinch. I know. That's why I'm working here. Well, it is money. It is. Only just. You know, sometimes I don't wonder why I bother with you, Blake. I mean, I was under the mistaken impression that I was doing you a favour by letting you work here. I mean, I've even said, if anything else turns up, you can go. I mean, you won't get many bosses at a grand concession like that. It's still Gardo. He's got a job for us. Oh, about bloody time. Uh, I'm sorry, where are you going? What well, are you doing? you said we could work here until something else turned up. Something else has just turned up. Uh, excuse me, you can't walk out on me like this. What about loyalty? What about gratitude? What about my flaming dishes? Hi, James. What happened to you? A slight accident on the golf course. Uh, Douglas, could I have a word? What was all that about? Um, I'm, I'm late with the horoscope. Did you do the horoscopes? Yeah. Uh, well, and the crosswords. And the legal advice. And... The Agni letters every second month, among other things. Oh. So what are the stars holding store for me next month, then, darling? Dad? I don't know. What do you fancy? Sabiendo que soy tu padre, la amistad que me une con tu padre. ¿Cómo no has venido a mí antes? ¿Cómo no has venido a mí? I still don't know why you didn't come to me earlier. In some ways, I would still rather we handled this ourselves. We've been trying to keep it quiet. Ah, no, no. You need professional help. You've got to tackle this the right way. Is that going to make any difference? We are under some pressure. Things have been difficult financially. <laughs> Just putting it mildly. Oh, uh, Blake, Douglas, I want you to meet Jose and Brian. Hi. I'm Jose's padrino, his godfather. I've known his father since we were children. Brian is his partner. Sit down. No. I know Brian. Well, I mean, I don't know you personally, but I, I know who you are. Everybody does. I even tried to play like you one time. You know, that swing which kind of stops at the top. It was hopeless. I mean, I'm left-handed for one thing. But I, I do remember seeing that great Ryder Cup at Wentworth. Oh, you... Well, I say I saw you. I mean, I, I saw it on television. I wasn't actually there. But you were terrific. Long time ago. Oh, um, yeah, right. Sorry. Please. Please, sit down. Sorry. Jose and Brian have had some vandalism around the club. What sort of vandalism? Things stolen, lockers broken into, graffiti here and there, a flood in the toilet. Cuéntales también lo de hoy. Today someone messed around with the golf buggies. Turned them into Formula One racers. Do you go for a spin? Yes. Yeah, I always said your driving left a lot to be desired. Convince Jose and Brian that they should have some security. That's why you are here. I will still like to have no problems. I don't want this to get into the papers. No, hombre, no. We cannot afford to have anything else go wrong, especially tomorrow. Why? We got the chairman of a major pro-am tournament coming to play with Brian. Oh, tell the world. We need that contract. Oh, go on, tell them everything. I just want them to understand. Tell them how difficult it is to work with an over-the-hill golfer for a partner. Tell them how hard you work. Huh? Tell him how I insult these wallies who dig bloody great holes in our specially imported Bermudan grass. These pillocks shouldn't even be allowed to be on a, a crazy golf course, let alone a real one. Brian, please, don't do this. What the hell difference does it make? Oh, Brian. No, no, I'm sorry. Sometimes Brian finds this all too much. 
What did he mean? As I said, things have been difficult. But the club's busy. He's not that busy. I don't understand. We'll be okay as long as we get this contract. On signature, we get money against future expenses. And with that money, we can pay off the finance company. And what happens if you don't get it? They repossess the club. It's all his fault, isn't it? No, 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 no. We were desperate. We owed money to builders, architects, suppliers, everyone. The bank wouldn't extend our credit, so we went to a finance company. What company? It's run by... ¿Cómo se llama? Charlie McCann. Oh, no. There's something else, isn't there? We think the finance company may be behind our vandalism. They would make a handsome profit if they can repossess the club. Do we have to wear these? There's no point in having security men around unless they look like security men. But this is ridiculous. I mean, look at him, he looks like a bloody munchkin. What about you? I suppose you're undercover. I'm going to the finance company. Right. Besides, you don't think I would wear one of those, do you? Hmm. By the way, Blake, now that Mercedes is gone, I was thinking I would put you on a retainer. Say 30 mil for a three-day week. 50 mil. Could get Perry Mason for that. What about me? Blake and me, we're a team. I'm the brains and he's... Um... Sorry, Douglas. Oh, well. Beats washing up. Oi, you two. Oh, God, what's he want? Well, if you're going to be around, you might as well earn your keep. Come here. I want you to watch them. Why? Especially the man. And if he comes back here for a round of golf, well, I want you to watch him and then report to me. And I want their addresses. Why? What is this? 20 questions. Just do it, will you? I wouldn't look round for a minute, Huey, but I think they might be on to us. Don't worry, Mum. I'll be careful. Fancy a cup of tea? I believe you're expecting me. Ah, oh, yes. The chap you're looking for is, uh, uh... Well, oh, you must have popped out for a bit. Um, why don't you take a seat and I'll get you a drink. What would you like? Uh, aqua con gas. Aqua con gas. Could we have an aqua con gas for the lady? <laughs> well, I went to see my can. And? I tried to want him off, but I bet he's shaking in his shoes. It's all your fault. If you had been doing your job, the club would never have gone into this situation. Piss off. Jose's given this place everything. He's put a lot of his money into this club. Me too. If this place goes down, then I haven't got a penny. Jose's worked 24 hours a day. That's what broke up his marriage with Elena. I know. Just because you can't play golf the way you used to. You are destroying yourself and everyone around you. Thank you for your observation. Is that all you can say? Want a drink? <laughs> What's he want? I'll see you inside.
Oh, you've got a bleeding nerve coming back here, haven't you? After walking out on me like that, you dirty rat. <laughs> That's what I like about you, Frank. Always a nice, warm, friendly welcome. Anyway, I'll work here, don't I? Says who? Listen, Delgado's given me three days a week, so I thought you and me could go back to our arrangement for the other two. Yeah, all right, we might try, but only because I'm a pussycat, all right? Only because no-one else will work for your wages. Um, that is 100 per cent, by the way. Yeah. And that's with the staff discount. Hello. Sorry. Still waiting for the chandelier to arrive. What are you doing here? None of your business. Have you, uh, been stood up by any chance? No, I bloody haven't. Not yet, anyway. Anyone I know? In a manner of speaking. Oh. Who? You'll laugh. No, I won't. Promise. Sean Connery. <laughs> <laughs> you promised! <laughs> well, I lied to you, didn't I? Sean Connery here! Look, I won this competition, I've turned up, and he hasn't. When I saw you standing there, I thought maybe there'd been a mix-up and they'd sent me the booby prize by mistake. Excuse me a minute. We have customers. Can we reconstruct the Spanish Civil War somewhere else, please? Kitchen for you. Wait on. I think these two might have some idea when Sean's turning up. The thing is... Unfortunately, Sean's away filming at the moment. It says here, quite clearly, dinner with Sean Connery. When I spoke to you on the phone, you said he would be here. It was you I spoke to, wasn't it? Maybe. Speak to a lot of people in the course of the day. Sean sent his apologies. It says, dinner with Sean Connery. Well, uh, you can have dinner tonight with us. And we'll try to rearrange something with Sean for a later date. That's right. You never asked him, did you? Not as such. I've got a cassette of a James Bond film. But you saw it, didn't you, Douglas? Uh, yes, it's terrific. Uh, with Roger Moore. Absolutely finished now. You can be on your bike. Excuse me, now where are you going, please? See, my brother. If he go, I go. Well, look, I think we can talk about this. You're not keeping him, are you? Please stay. He's going to go. Well, where's your coat? Sorry, my fault entirely. It's OK, mate. Hey, Australian. Yeah. Just over here for a week or two. On your own? Yeah. Me too. Douglas, look. What? Ah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> uh, Pisces. Partners are proving extremely trying at the moment, and finances remain a constant worry. But what? I don't know yet. Well, you're spot on so far. How do you know? Because I'm bloody Pisces. Well, I'm going to go for a walk. See what's what. Keep in touch. Oh! <laughs> so where is he? Well, we are trying to contact him. <laughs> I know the feeling. Sometimes I've had problems contacting Brian, even with his right beside me. He's a good bloke. Great golfer in his time, but he's still very good. Yeah, well, it's one of the perks of his job is getting to play with people like Brian, if you ever do get to play with him. Oh, hello, Brian. <laughs> good to see you again. You're still on the wagon, huh? I sometimes like to have uh, a little side bet on each hole. I, uh... I wonder if you'd be interested. Well, I don't mind, uh, if you're sure. Yeah. Thanks. Don't you think Jose should be here? He has to go through the contract. Oh, I'll have ice on it when it comes down. 
Only joking, Freddy. We could, um, up the stakes, if you like. Fine by me. Say, um, 1,000 pesetas? No worries. Satyrs, did we say? <sighs> You've been hustling me. Wait till I get my hands on you. You'll never walk again. I'll hang the nuts from the top of the opera house. Blake? I'm on the 13th green. You better get over here, quick. Well, I can't go now. But this is serious. How serious? Well, how serious is murder? <laughs> I've had just about enough of this. Oh, is that a threat? I know you've had hard times recently. I've always liked you, so I made some allowance. Allowance, you chick? Look, what? don't do me no favours, all right? Do me no favours. In fact, this is a great club. Oh, Look, and in fact, you no, should no, be you. grateful. I should be grateful. I should be that we're considering holding your poxy tournament. Here. I know what's been going on here. Dodgy finances. I have a lot of money riding on these tournaments. I got to protect my investment. There is nothing wrong with this club. Not quite what I. I'm telling you, there's nothing wrong with this. Place. That's my ball. It's sacrilege. Uh, oh, I see. Uh, uh, this is your idea, isn't it? Dig the hole big enough, you're bound to get your ball in it. Why doesn't somebody do something? Where those two stupid security men? I don't know. There they are. Where are they? Come back here. That's it. Stop! You're not going to print it. Why not? Because it makes us look like prats. I suppose it does. So you're not going to print it? Of course I'm going to print it. It's going to boost circulation by a couple of thousand copies. And I might even be able to sell it to one of the nationals back home. Brian Jackson screws up again. Look, I've got this picture of Brian about to lay one on Freddy. It's going to be my passport back to Fleet Street. Or Wapping, or wherever Fleet Street is these days. I only wish I could put in something about McCann and the finance company. I can't afford a libel suit. Douglas, say something to him. Now, look. Please. Well, he's going to run the story. Do you realize what that story could do to my business? You managed to keep your name out of the headlines. Let me in small print. It's not only me. You've lost Jose and Brian. The last chance they had to keep that club going. Us? Well, Brian wasn't exactly being very helpful. You should have stayed with us. Both of you. <laughs> There's something going on, Douglas, that isn't quite right. Well, like what? I don't know. Can I have a car? Sure. What are you going to do? Check out a few things down at the club. Mine? No. 
Need a hand? No. I'm not even sure what I'm looking for myself. Okay, here's the keys. Oh, shit. Oh. Supposed to be lucky, isn't it? Psst. Psst. It's uh, Douglas, isn't it? Y yes. Oh, I'm glad I managed to track you down. I, uh, I wanted to say thanks for yesterday. Oh, yes. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> and, um, and by the way, uh, would you like to come to Mars for tea? Mars? Look, Freddy, have... Freddy, look, it's the pressure, you see? And and the worry. That's funny. I thought it was the, the, the drink. Uh, what about the contract? Turn it over to another club down the coast. I think we'll be able to finalize the details and uh, uh, sign the contracts by Friday morning, and then I'm off. <laughs> so you won't listen, then? <laughs> Brian, I enjoy fooling around as much as any other man. There's a time and a place. All right, Freddy. I'm sorry. It's not only that. You have problems at that club. I don't know what they are, but I know I don't need them. So I can't trust you with one of my tournaments. It's <laughs> as simple as that, really. Congratulations. Mm. It's the only thing I've ever missed out here, a decent cup of tea. Yeah, me too, Mrs. Ross. Oh, call me Ma. Everybody calls me Ma. <laughs> well, is it the milk? Is it the water? I don't know. It uh, never tastes the same, does it? No. <laughs> oh, now, Ma, you know you're not supposed to have so much sugar. Oh, buggeration, Huey. At my age, the pleasures of life are few and far between, and I don't intend to stint on any of those I can still enjoy. So how long have you been out here? Twelve years. The happiest twelve years of my life. Ever since we got shot of him, eh? Oh, what a bust. Hey, Huey. <laughs> <laughs> Who is he? My husband, Huey's dad. Oh, I see. He ran the family coal business. Oh, he made us work like coolies. Never had a holiday. Never let us get our hands on any of the money. Ooh! Uh, no, Ma, no, 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 not the gun, no. Look, Ma, you <laughs> just get upset. I, I... You'll need to get another picture, Huey. That'll not last much longer. <coughs> Sorry about this, Douglas. No, no, no. Perfectly all right. Don't worry. Um... <coughs> it's okay, Ma. It's okay. <coughs> I was just having a look around. There wasn't anyone else here. You have no right to be here. Listen, whoever's behind this vandalism of yours is getting help from someone inside the club. I just wanted to find out who it might be. Why do you say that? The timing's been spot on every time. Like, for instance, with the tractor and Freddy. And when your toilet's flooded, you had a whole party of travel agency reps here. Coincidence? I haven't even started yet. Whoever took that tractor knew exactly where the keys were. Look, there's a drawer full of them here. They only took the keys to the tractor. Like with the buggies. They made it out to look as if they broke in from the outside. But there was glass on the inside and the outside. As if they got in with a key and then broke the glass from the inside. But they were careless. They forgot to clear up all the glass on the outside of the door. And whoever souped up those buggies knew exactly how those carburetors worked. But you want me to go on? None of it is very convincing, if you ask me. Besides, there are over 30 people working here. Why don't you ask them? What are you doing in my office? I just told you. Do you know, I really expected better from Delgado. I thought I could trust him, 
But what does he send me? Amateurs. Where were you when all this happened? I was doing what Brian said. What was that? To keep an eye on that other golfer. Oh, you should have been there to stop that tractor. Once you get some proper evidence, come to me. Until then, stay out of this office. You mean here at the house? No, in Spain. She needs a lot of attention and she should be getting seen regularly. We manage here? I know. But things aren't perfect back home, but she'd be a lot better there than she would be here. Especially if she gets any worse and she's almost bound to. But, well, she doesn't want to go back home. I know, but she's going to find things harder and harder. I'm sorry. Do you think you're going to lose this place? Looks like it. Well, you don't seem too concerned. Don't you think you should do something about it? Well, I was always doing that. Well, I don't think it's going to make any difference. It... <laughs> I'm amazed we've hung on to it for as long as we have. But I will miss this place. I designed the course, you know. Maybe that's the problem. See, most golfers around here, they, well, they just want to amble about in wide open spaces with no hazards and, you know, lose no balls. But this course, this isn't like that. You make a mistake on this course and it punishes you. It's a real golfer's course. What will you do if you lose it, Brian? I don't know. I really don't. <laughs> you didn't really think Sean Connery was going to turn up, did you? No. So why did you go? Well, for a bit of a laugh, really. I've been out here for two months and I don't seem to have done anything but work, so I thought it was about time to do something daft. <laughs> Nobody was supposed to be able to win that competition. Circulation's not been so good recently. So we thought a few big competitions, super prizes... That no one could collect. Well, not always, not always. But that crossword was supposed to be impossible. Never have run the competition otherwise. Ah, well, I've always been pretty good at word games. Oh, in that case, I know just the thing for after dinner. Cheers. Cheers. Is this home? Home of a good friend. Surprised you got any friends left? <laughs> so am I. Thanks for the ride. in the health service. You'd have patients you couldn't find beds for, wards were being closed all over the place, just to save money. Come on, then. It's your turn. Hyalitis? What's that? Inflammation of the vitreous humour of the eye. Uh... Oh, come on. That's not fair. Perfectly fair. Oh, I, I thought she's made that up, hyalitis. Plus 22 for keeps. I think it sounds like a hairdresser's obsession. You sure you haven't made it up? Positive. 119. 119? So I came out to the clinical in Glazer to make a bit of money and to decide what to do next. The old clinical in Glazer. Bit of a contradiction in terms. Yeah, like military intelligence. <laughs> you must be about the first English doctor ever to work in the clinical in Glazer. Probably. Hello. I'm winning. Fine. Is there anything left to eat? Uh, yeah, help yourself. So? Well. Someone inside the club is helping the finance company. Oh, murkier and murkier. So what do we do next? Later, Douglas. I know all about it. Yeah, yeah, I've uh, filled Linda in about our uh, work as private eye. Uh, de uh, de detectives. Then you can trust me. I won't use any of this unless you say so. 
I was just telling Douglas that uh, when I thought about it, I really did feel bad about using those pictures of you and Brian and the tractor. Oh, so you won't be using the story? No, I don't feel that bad about it. I'm chucking those in. I want to get inside the finance company. You won't get inside the door. Well, it depends. On what? I've arranged a meeting for tomorrow. Now, as far as McCann's concerned, my name is Hopkins and I've got some hot money that needs to be called down. I told him I'd be turning up with my partner. Sounds like fun. Do you need a Mrs. Hopkins? No. Oh, I'd love to do something like this. I've always fancied myself as a bit of a Miss Marple. Really? Do you think I fit the bill? Oh, yeah. Miss Marple's got me, what, 80, 85? Come on, Blake, how about it? No. Please, Blake. No. I could always take my complaint about the crossword to a lawyer. I gather the law in Spain is a very protracted and expensive business. Hmm. That's not my problem. Blake, couldn't you just consider it? No. Here you, watch it. Douglas, you're going way over the top. Leave him alone. You're always picking on him. That's right, you're always picking on me. Uh, Mr. Hopkins and party to see Mr. McCann? Yeah, make it snappy, darling. Douglas, that's it. Now you're staying here, you're gonna blow everything. Well, Don't he try to help? Yeah, it makes yeah, our cover look good. William, you can go right out now, sir. Thank you. Douglas, no. You stay here. One lunatic's enough. Take a seat. Senor McCann will be here in a moment. Thank you. Sorry about that. Ah. Oh, uh, Ronnie. And this is Yvonne. Just saying goodbye to someone. So, I understand you've got some money to invest. Could be. <laughs> I don't like having to see this, but it all seems a bit rushed to me, this. I generally like to get to know the people I'm doing business with before I do business with them. Well, you see, the thing is, we come into some money rather sudden-like, if you get my meaning. Oh, I see. A stroke of luck, was it? That's exactly right. Aye, I've had a few of them in my time. Oh, well, you wouldn't be where you are now without them, would you? <laughs> <laughs> How much money have you got? Oh, about uh, 500,000. Pesitas? Pounds. That's a load of dosh for an ex-cop. What do you mean? Blake, isn't it? Late of the CID. Promoted Detective Sergeant 1985, retired 1989. He knew who I was. I don't understand it. What are you looking so pleased about? How did he know? Well, I think I might be able to help you there. I should have known it was Brian all along. Well, you don't know that it's Brian for sure. Why was he at McCann's office then? I don't know. Jose's been trying to see McCann for days. He won't even speak to him on the phone. Come on, Blake, it's got to be Brian. I saw him myself. He waltzed out of there like he owned the place. Well, why? He won't get much from the sale of the cloth once all the debts are paid. This way, he'll get a payoff from McCann. There's something going on that's not quite right. What? Oh, I don't know. Why do you always say there's something going on, and then when I ask what it is, you always say, I don't know? I don't know. Hey. And why Brian disappeared? He should have been at the club today. He hasn't been home or to any of his usual bars. No one has seen him since Douglas saw him at McCann's. Right. I'm going to see Jose. Tell him what happened. So what do we 
do now? Well, now we go and see Brian, and you can go home. I'm coming with you. I'm not missing any of this. How do we see Brian? Nobody knows where he is. Ah, I do. <laughs> Good day. On your own? Yeah. Once we go around together, I like a bit of company. Suits me. Hey, you know, it's odd. I, uh, I played another Australian last week. He was down here on holiday, too. I'm not denying it. I did go and see McCann. I went to ask him for some more time. So how come Jose can't get to see McCann and you get straight in there? Well, I don't know. Why don't you ask him? Look, I just went down to his office. I don't need an appointment. Don't you? Jose and I have known him for a long time. Look, I just felt that I was the one that screwed all this up, so I thought I'd try and straighten it out a little bit. That's your story. You believe what you want. Why are you hiding? I'm not hiding. I just, I just don't want to know anymore. Did you tell McCann who I was? No. Sometimes I like to play for a little uh, side bet. I, uh, I find it lifts my game. Well, I don't mind. How much were you think of? Oh, uh, nothing too much. Say, um, 500 pesetas. Fine by me. Good. Do you believe him? I don't know who to believe anymore. Well, I know this may not help, but I was absolutely convinced it was Brian before we got here. And? And? Now? I'm not sure. Oh, great. There again. Maybe he's just a very good liar. Mm. Oh, don't know what I'd do without you, so I'm really glad you came along. Listen, I've got to go to the newspaper office. Henley Dodd's going to blur out some of those photographs he took the other day. Do you want to come, see if they help? Yes. OK, let's go. OK, let's go. Well, I never thought that would go in in a million years. It didn't surprise me, sport. Me neither. <laughs> Right, Capricorn. Events this week may invoke pleasant memories of childhood. Don't skimp on sleep, keep an eye on your diet, and don't drink too much. Your liver is rather delicate at the moment. How's that? It's very good. From what I've seen, I imagine most of the expats around here have very delicate livers. Oh, you're not kidding. Douglas? Yeah? Come on, take a look at this. What's that? This photo here, take a look. And this one here. You can't really make it out. Yeah, but look here in the background. See? Now, I think that looks like McCann. Yes, it does. But what about him? <sighs> I don't know. Come on, Douglas, where's that copy? I'm still stuck on Virgo. Well, make something up. Anything. Oh, OK. Only there's that letter for the agony column from that woman who keeps finding her husband dressed in her clothes. I'm not quite sure how to handle that. Here, pass it over. Oh, what? Pigame. Douglas, it's for you. Mm. What are you doing? I was just curious. It turns you on, does it? No, I just want to see what sort of advice you're going to give her. You know, it's often the big macho blokes like you who get really. Oh, hey, you two. We've got to go to Huey's. Is it Mar again? No, it's Huey. By the rest of these horoscopes. Oh. oh, don't worry. This is Capricorn. Print the same for Virgo and Libra, too. Nobody will ever notice. I mean, you only ever read your own, don't you? True. Oh, he's right. My liver has been a bit dodgy recently. Well, he's all right. At least he will be in a couple of days. Silly bugger. <laughs> What's that, Huey? Oh, uh, sorry, Ma. <sighs> Who's that? My wife. She left me. Long time ago. Oh. Sorry, Hugh. I somehow thought you'd never... Yes, I know. Most people think that. Douglas, come and look at this. 
Oh, yeah, this must be one of the shots that Huey took earlier that morning. We see him really clearly in this one. And he's not wearing his glasses. Otra vez, otra vez. ¿Quién le pagó? Váyase a la mierda, por favor, váyase a la mierda. What do you say? Uh, well, basically, you could translate it in English as two words connected with sex and travel. Your Spanish is better than I thought. Tell him several people got hurt when someone tampered with the buggies. Someone's in hospital with injuries and they've since died. Tell him it's murder now. That's not true. Yeah, but he won't know that. Senor, uno de los que está empezado ya ha muerto. No te preocupes. De todas maneras, no tenía remedio. Con fe. Hello, Jose. I've been looking for you. Me? But I thought... Well, uh, changed my mind about the tournament. So if you're still interested, uh... That's wonderful. Of course he's interested, verdad, Jose? Eh? Si, si. But why? Why? Well, the other club let me down. Besides, I think I've been a little bit harsh on good old Brian. <laughs> I don't understand. Are you interested or are you not? It's the only thing you have to worry about. I suppose I am. ¿Qué pasa, Jose? This is great news and you don't seem to be pleased. Hey, who's he? Okay, so what's the big problem then? What are you doing here? You sent me a message just half an hour ago, saying you had to see me here right away. There must be some mistake. What the bloody hell are you playing at? You said it was urgent, a real problem. Hey, what are you? I sent that message. I thought you might like to meet Jamie here, but I understand you've already met. No, I don't think so. Definitely not. Well, just to refresh your memory, but Jamie's been very forthcoming, confessed to the sabotage, told us how you and McCann were going to use a friend on the council, Get permission to develop the golf course, turn it into houses. Must be some mistake here, pal. No mistake. You knew Brian wouldn't stand for it, as so he tried to cheat him out of everything. I put everything into that club, and he was wasting it away. Brian's no angel. He was naive, but you were greedy. Look, uh, I was just passing on my way to visit a friend, so if you don't mind, I'll just uh, toddle along. You're not going anywhere, pal. Before I arrange this little reunion, I'll find the police. They'll be here any minute. You paid Hamie, you deceived and defrauded Brian, and I'm sure the Guardia would like to have a word with you about your friend on the council. You bastard. <laughs> oh, 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 all right, oh, so far. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Brian, look, I can't explain everything. <clears throat> ah. I think I sliced that one. Is this champagne on Russian, Douglas? Oh, I just thought... Oh. I'm sorry, Ma. <laughs> That's better. Thank you. Oh. Huey and I, we'd like to thank you for inviting us here today. And for all the hell you've given us during the last few weeks. <coughs> also, we want to tell you that we've come to a decision. Huey and I are going home. It seems the best thing for us. Anyway, <laughs> cheers. Cheers, Mark. Cheers, Mark. Cheers, 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 cheers. Hello, Brian. Have a drink. No. Thank you. What's happening to the club? Well, Freddy's going to help me buy Jose out, and he's going to sell because he's going to need the money for his legal fees. I still can't believe how he could lie to me. Hey, I'm sorry. Well, I'm off on a promotional tour of the Madrid circuit. Well, we're not out of the woods yet, but I just dropped by to thank you too, especially you. You still want the job? Yeah. 50 mil each. I can't afford both of you. Of course you can. There's plenty of work out there. It's waiting for us. 
30 mil. 40. 30. Done. Douglas Bromley, private investigator. Will we have to share the trench coat? Don't get it. Oh, trench coat. <laughs> trench coat. You lose me. You can't. You can't cope when the going is tough. Tomorrow night at 10, Magnum thinks a helicopter crash that put TC in a coma was no accident. It is keen to survey the sunken wreckage. Next tonight, though, we explore the UK adult video industry in UK Pen Exposed. me down in the shower. Decisions. Good morning. Oh. How'd it go? Oh. Oh. I take it plan A failed. The way to Miss Linda's heart is not through participating in her morning workout. My body, Douglas. Pardon? I said my body, Douglas, is a finely tuned instrument. I... I was weaned on a diet of beer and fatty foods. Exercise, it's an alien concept. Really? I come from a long line of unfit people. Yeah, well, there's no arguing with genetics. Here, you better have this. I made it just how you like it, extra caffeine. New tracksuit. Oh well, the bills have won. Three to one. Oh, this looks interesting though, except it's for you. Oh, do the honours with you, Douglas. I'm covered in muck here. Thank you. Oh, oh. Douglas. 
Sorry. Um, hello. Bet you thought you'd never hear from me again. Sorry to shatter your hopes. I thought it was about time we gave it another try. Got to know each other again. Flying out on the 10th, all my love, Stevie. Who's this Stevie? One of your ex-girlfriends? No, it's a man. It's Stephen. So who is he? It doesn't matter. He's not coming anyway. Is there a number there? I'll call him. Yes? Yeah, well, come on. Not until I get some details. <sighs> all right, Douglas, all right. He's family, OK? He's my half-brother. Never knew you had a brother. Well, we don't exactly get on. You never said. Right, I'm off to the phone. It won't do any good. What? Well, he says he's flying out on the 10th. It's the 10th today. Oh, great. So? Looks like we're going to have a guest. No, we're not. He's not staying here. Why don't you want him to stay with us? We haven't got the room. We've got two spare cabins. No. Go on, ask her if she's got a spare room. Tiene usted una habitación para visitados? Sí. Yeah. Ask her if she ever rents it out. La alquilar usted de vez en cuando? Sí, señor. Yeah. Yeah. Ask her if it's free at the moment. Oh my God. Podríamos la alquilarla estos días? Claro que sí. Ya he dicho que sí. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Great. No, señor Douglas. ¿Por qué no le dice usted a su amigo que aprenda un poquito español? Que ya está bien, digo yo, ¿no? ¿Qué dijo? Dijo que no aprende un poquito de español. Bueno, ya no está bien. Es lo que puedes hacer. No importa. 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 What's the difference? Douglas, let's get one thing straight, all right? I don't like him, understand? We're nothing alike. He lies, cheats and steals. Sounds like family to me. That's not funny. You're Mr and Mrs Price, aren't you? Our prize winners. A thousand free air miles. That is correct. In less than 15 words, I would like to fly British Airways. Oh, shut up, George. You don't want to hear that. You want to hear it. That's a bit formal, isn't it? Most people just settle for Stevie. Oh, yes. You looking good? You too. Very Mickey Wall. I like it. Uh, well, let's uh, let's get to the car, shall we? Shall no, let's get out. You sure? Oh. Okay. It's just out of here. George? That bloke! What? Just gone over there. I'm sure I know him. God. Three whiskies and you know everybody. Pleasure? Ah, uh, you know, a uh, bit of this and that. A chance to see my brother. That's nice. You know, Stephen. Steve, Stevie. You know, all, the, all the years I've known him, he's never once told me his first name. For 50 years, he's just been plain Blake. Yeah, that's because he doesn't have a first name. He was born to be a policeman. Yeah, well, you're not in the force now. Your Blake's just fine. I don't know. I quite like the name Bernard. Bernard? Yeah, Bernard. Bernard Blake, so? Oh, nothing. It's got, got a nice ring to it. I wish we hadn't won this lot. Oh, don't be so dumb.